So, let's talk about a couple things. First, let's talk about whether you should expect some sort of traveler's diarrhea on your journey to the Philippines. The answer is absolutely. Uh, it's important, especially if you're gonna be out and about a lot, to keep something with you in the way of fluids and some anti-diarrheal medication because uh, you do not want to get dehydrated in a place that's already as hot as a sauna. Not a good idea. Interesting experience just happened. I'm downstairs in a massage chair because I had inquired about the price. And I get in the chair, the guy gives me 10 minutes for free to try it out or whatever. Sit down in the chair, I'm in there about two minutes. This, this girl walks up and says, let me introduce you to your wife. And at that point, I knew I was in trouble. I just didn't know how much trouble. I get out of the massage chair, this girl proceeds to follow me and her friend is trailing behind all the way like half the circle that this mall makes and she says can you meet us at Jollibee we need food we're hungry you know we've been traveling a lot we're homeless uh, that kind of thing now lucky uh, for me, I've listened to a lot of expat bloggers talk about this situation. And my reply was simply, I'm very sorry, I can't help you, and I walked off. Um, but for some guy that's out here just looking for women and nothing else, and there are many men out here doing just that. Uh, that would have been a golden opportunity to get robbed, to get suckered into something. You have no idea what's coming next. Um, these are dangerous situations. This is not just, uh, oh, I could have had sex with a, with a girl or two girls. Yeah, you probably could have, but you probably would have been robbed, mutilated, uh, killed, God only knows what else uh, in the process. So. Gotta be careful out here, gentlemen. Gotta be careful. And that was one experience that hopefully I won't have to go through again. Hopefully. I finally made it back to one of my favorite spots in the world. I know I said that before, but this really is one of my favorite spots. This, see if I can get the tower in here behind me. This is SM Seaside. And I don't know if it's twice as big as Iola, but it's bi it's much bigger. Um, I'm on the Skywalk currently, and I'm about to take a bunch of pictures and I'll do a little vlogging up here. Hopefully, I um, can give you guys uh, a little shot of the view that you can get from up here. Unfortunately, they have this little area right here closed off, so I can't get over there where I was in December. Sucks. But 
You can still get some great shots up here. It's a great view. It's an awesome view. Check this out. I believe that is literally the entire city of Cebu behind me. The airport is like right there somewhere. So I'm thinking it might be a good time to uh, fly out the big lens and get some planes. I don't know, we'll see. I'm going to attempt to shoot a little from inside the mall. I don't know how well this is gonna work. We'll see. This is real quick, just trying to give you a scope of how big this mall is. Look at this, huge. So let's have a quick discussion. I'm at Jollibee's again, and I'm thinking about just stopping Jollibee's all together because every time I eat here, I feel like I'm gonna die, like death. My digestive system talks to me. It says, why, why did you do this to me again? And my only answer is, because I'm poor. <laughs> It's cheap here, but the food is not uh, great by any means. Anyway, how about cabs? Cabs are one of those funny things, like you get in a cab and you say, could you hit your meter, please? If you won't hit the meter, get out of the cab. If you're going on a long distance, for example, from here to the airport, pre-negotiate uh, his fee or her fee. Um, driving you to the airport. But that's only with long distance. So, I can't think of another time when that would be necessary. In addition, uh, it's very important when you get in the cab to make sure the cab driver has either hit the meter button or will hit the meter button as soon as you say something. That's to keep you from getting screwed. 